I'm going to show you how to make a naan bread for the tandoori oven. Okay? So I'm going to get some self-raising flour. I've got some in here. Now, I've kind of worked out that a ladle full like that will do a naan bread. So I'm not going to do eight naan breads. I, re I can do six naan breads in that oven. I'm going to put some baking powder in because that is a good raising agent. So I'm going to put a good spoonful in, teaspoonful. I'll put a little bit in for luck. I'll put in one, two sugars. In fact, what I'm doing here is kind of a pissoiry naan. I love this naan, it's great. I've got dried coconut. I'll just peel back this stuff here. And I'm going to grate it into the flour. It grates really nicely. It's just come straight out of the fridge. I reckon that's okay. I'm also going to put yogurt in this. You see, yogurt gives it a really nice flavour, really nice texture. Again, I got 250 grams. This is 450. Oh, sorry, I'll say 200, 225 grams. I'm going to put all that in. All gone in. Now, I know that is not going to be the right consistency. So, I'm going to use some soy milk. You can use ordinary milk if you like. You can use water. I prefer soy milk because, again, very little fat in there. And I think that will be about right. I'm going to start mixing that. I'll just get myself a spoon. Now, what I want to get is a nice elastic dough. Now, that is not enough. Can you see that? It's not there. But you've got to be careful. You just add a bit more in. And I think that'll be it. There it is. It's getting there. I'm just going to wipe that off the spoon. And I'm going to get my hands in there now. It's so easy to just overdo it with the liquid, but with a bit of luck, I've just got it right. If it's too runny or too squidgy, just put a bit more flour in. Just kind of knead it in the bowl. I think I might have just got it right. You don't want it too runny and you don't want it too dry because it won't stick to the side of the town door. Now, Whilst I'm doing this, just let me explain why naan bread stick to the side of the oven. Clay has capillary properties. So what happens is, when you stick a wet piece of dough on the side of the tandoor, it sucks. And that's why it sticks and doesn't fall off. That is a good naan bread mix. I'm just going to move all that, put it on the bread board. I'm just going to knead and knead and knead. Now, I'd actually leave that and let it sit. I've actually rolled it up in balls, frozen it in the fridge and used it a month later. Fantastic. Actually, it was the best naan bread I've ever done. Now, that is a good consistency. And that's about the right size for a naan bread to put inside a tandoori oven. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use a rolling pin. Now, do you see that? It's not quite there. So, I'm going to get some more flour, sprinkle it on there, and I'll try again. Let's take that off, we don't want that on there. Okay, I'm going to roll this out now. You don't want it too thick. There you go. That's about the right size. And what I'll do tomorrow, or later on, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing a tandoori tonight. So, but I'll, I'll leave these to sit for about half an hour. And then I'm just gonna get on the tandoori oven, put my glove on, and I'm gonna slap it in there. And I'm gonna do six, just to show you that you can do naan breads in that little oven, and you can do them perfectly. So, 
Later, we will do tandoori roots. You don't have to put coconut in, you can put cumin seeds in, onion seeds in, anything you like. You can even put cheese in. Fold it over, roll it out, absolutely delicious. So that's it, that's my, that's my little number. Here we go, I'm going to do the numbers now. This is the big one, I need them now. What I'm going to do here is give it a quick stir. I want to get this temperature back up. I'm going to do the test on that. One, and two, and three, that's it. All right, I'm going to do some numbers now. This is what I made last night, it's been in the fridge. It's, well look at it, it's just palm size. I'm going to stick that one there, I'm going to roll him out. Okay, I'll say that's one. I've got to be really quick here because I'm, they're going to get on my back. I said seven o'clock it's now half past seven i'm late it's not good for a chef to be late but it's a food experience so what the hell i don't care yes, you can't cut and paste this so when you see me slap these boys in it's for real right they're all rolled down lovely jubbly Oh, the guests are out there. They want to come and see what's going on. In fact, they might want to see the nans being slapped in. They'll be quite impressed. Look, I'm just going to, look, I've got some ghee here. I'm just quickly going to zap that. So what I want to do, I want to put some ghee on the tandoor. Oh, on the tandoor, what do you mean the tandoor? On the nan breads. Okay, I've melted that. I'm going to get my pastry knife. I need my glove. Really important because you just nuke your hand, okay? You gotta be really quick here. So I'm gonna paste these up. Okay. I'm gonna put these on there. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Did you see that stick? And I'm gonna go again. Look at that. That's two. And that's three. And the guests are coming up. They're so intrigued about what's going on here. But a bit more ghee on that. I got to work really quick because by the time I put these on, I'll have to take those off. Here we go. One, two, three. None of them have fallen in. This is a miracle. This is the appliance of science. You can't get this in an ordinary oven. No way. You won't get the taste, and you don't have the same fun. I can see that these guests are so impressed. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. We should be Look at that. Applause. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! Six nan breads in a small tandoori oven. Now look at this bubbling up. Come and get this. Come and see this, Mr. Cameraman. Okay, most importantly, as he's filming that, I'll go and get my nan hooks. And I think they're ready. Can we come in again? Just go all the way around. Now, remember, this is not cut and paste. This is not Photoshop. This is the real thing. You can't cut and paste when you're filming. So now I'm going to take one out. Which was the first one? This is it. You get your nan hook set, and I'm just going to stick it in there and just prise it off. Sometimes they, they, they can't. I've got him. I've got it. Here you go. Oh, look. I just caught it. That's one. That's fabulous. Here we go. I'm just prising it off. That's two. I've got to be really quick here now because they're going to start burning. Oh, yes. Three. 
Whoa, yeah, look at that. He's he is there. You can leave them on too long and you know just make them a bit hard. You burn a little bit at the end, but you know. And that's it. Woo! Look at that. Six naan breads in a home tandoori oven. That is a classic. Okay? I rest my case. Tomorrow we will do what we're we gonna do tomorrow. That's it. We're gonna do Fish. trout, salmon, and sea bass in this one. That'll really get you going. See you tomorrow. Bye.